we call it love. So let love in and let love win. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. This video will be a get to know us better or get to know us video since a lot of you were asking information about us. Yeah. A lot of viewers. Yeah. And we haven't properly introduced ourselves, so this video will help you to know us better. Hello guys. Move back So Okay, let's start with a very basic uh, information about us. What is our name? I'm Abino. And I am Jay Ann. And you might already know us by name. Okay, so yes. I am from India, Patna. Basically, I'm from Patna, northern part of India. Usually, I'm saying that I am from Bacolod since uh, that the city, Bacala city is more famous to everyone compared to where I really came from. So I am really from Barangay Talok, Bago City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. So Bago City and Bacolod City are just neighboring cities. So I'm preferably saying Bacolod because it's more familiar to you compared to Bago. Next is how old are we? Yeah, so I am 29 just this January. You just turned 29. My date of birth is 16th Jan. So I'm 29. And I just turned 27 this June. So basically when we got married, I am only 16. <laughs> 16 plus 10. <laughs> So I was just 26 when we got married last month and this month I just turned 27. Mm -mm. What next? Next is how tall are we? I received a question <laughs> asking if how, what how? is our height? So I included this in this question. Yeah, so at least you will get to know us. So my height is... <laughs> <laughs> Five seven. I'm five seven, and I am five three. So when we were just chatting before, he asked me. <laughs> it's a funny story. He asked me, "What is my height?" I told him I'm six foot something, six feet or six no, five foot. five ten. You said. I said five ten. I said five ten, and I I saw on his face that he he was like a bit disappointed. <laughs> That I am taller than him. But you know me, I always make joke. So it was just a joke. And what next? <clears throat> next is how many are you siblings. in the family? Like yeah. How many siblings do you have? Me and one of my younger sister. Two of us. And we're four siblings in the family. I have two brothers and one elder sister. And I am the youngest in the four siblings of the family. So next is about educational qualification. So which degree did we pursued or graduated? Yeah. So I am electrical engineer and I've completed my engineering from Chennai, College of Chennai. So me, I graduated from University of Necros Occidental Recoletos with a course of Bachelor of Science in Accounting Technology. So I graduated the year 2013. And I graduated in 2012. Yeah, you're one year ahead of me. Yeah. And next is... Work experience. What do we do? So... Basically, you have no work experience because this is your first and current. Yeah, before this is my first job where I'm working now. Um, I'm a banker by profession. By qualification, I'm an engineer, but by profession, now I'm a banker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working with the leading public sector bank of India. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, for work experience, a PFC. 
as you have seen, I have no work here in India, so I will just uh, discuss my previous work experiences. So <clears throat> I have three work previous work previous jobs. So when I graduated, I have this six month experience with a company who's like selling gadgets, phones, and all. So <clears throat> I was assigned in the accounting department as an accounting staff and then my second job was uh, I worked in a lending company in Bacolod oh. for more than two years yeah for more than two years as an accounting staff so, and after that I got lucky to have an opportunity to work in Dubai so I worked in Dubai as office staff I was handling, I was one of the people who's handling the communication department in our Dubai office. And I worked there for more than one year. So total experience I have. Like five years? Around. Um, oh. Yeah, around five years. So my total experience is around five years. This is like the most frequent questions that we got. Like many people have been asking that where did we met, like where we came to know each other, where where we come to know each other, mm. where was our first introduction, or so. I'd like to say that, of course, as it, this is common in most long distance relationship, in LDRs we met on internet, and of course, the most common thing, eight years back. Facebook was new thing and we met on Facebook. Yeah, so we met on Facebook. I was in college in my third year of my engineering and she was also pursuing her. I'm an incoming third year college student. Or yeah, also. so we were in college that time. It was summer break. Yeah, and I was, it was summer vacation. Ah, summer vacation, yeah. yeah. I was just like enjoying my holidays, one month holiday because just after my exams got finished, so I went home. And that time, we became friends on Facebook, and okay. from there it started. Yeah, I sent you friend request. <laughs> yeah. But but for for clarification, I am not looking for boyfriend or any chatmate and all. It's only that during that time, uh, Facebook was so trending. Yeah, it was new. It, it was, was new. It was new. So like you are cool if you have lots of friends on Facebook. Yeah. So if you have mutual friends. The name of that person will appear on your Facebook, and then you just have to click. It was not send that request. much like very. There were very. It, Facebook was not that much like uh, familiar with everyone. Yeah, Only limited you. people were accessing Facebook, mm. even in India also eight years back. Yeah. So yes, we started there. So we met on June of two thousand eleven. No, not not April, June. May, April. May. March. End of March. Beginning of April. No. Somewhere like that. April. April oh. to, we started chatting April 2011 okay April yeah we started chatting April 2011 then. and then next so that was how we met, met. each other yeah. but not personally only uh, we came to know each other yeah we came to know each other each other's 2011. existence <laughs> but then when you ask us how long did we waited for us to oh. finally meet each other for the first time personally? Mm -hmm. We first met um, on October 30, 2016. 2016. She was already working in Dubai and yeah, uh, I, I went there. I went there to meet her. So like I started working in Dubai July 2016 and he went there to visit me on October. Yeah, October. So, so it was that time <coughs> when we first met in Dubai. Our first yeah. meeting happened in Dubai. Airport. And, Dubai yeah, airport. Dubai airport. And he only stayed in Dubai for, for seven days. Seven days. One week. Yeah. That's it. Uh, second meeting. Our second meeting was when... She came to India. She 2018 18 she came to india second march third yeah, march. third march she i left my job in dubai i went back to the philippines i processed my papers and then i came here in india 
first time she came India on 3rd of March 2018 last year she stayed here first so that's time, my first time in India time in India and our second meeting, meeting. then our third meeting our <laughs> third meeting this year in January what day? 13th 13th January 13 2019 19 this year I went Philippines yeah, you went to the Philippines Since, uh, I went for a week and January 16 is my birthday so it was my that's plan that's when he proposed to me <laughs> so it was my plan that I'll stay there during my birthday but luckily my stay in Philippines got extended three more days because my flight was rescheduled mm -hmm. so so he officially oh. turned 29 in the Philippines and yeah. on that day he officially asked me to marry him so <laughs> Yeah, cheesy. Sure. So if if you know the complete like story or overview of how he proposed to me, you can check my video. What happened at the ruins? That's the that, title of the video. What yeah, happened at the ruins? What happened at the ruins? Because that's where he proposed to me, and I made a video of that for him. Mm -mm. Okay, just that. And uh, fourth meeting, fourth. And final, finally, we are together. She came India on twelfth of April. April. April twelfth, two thousand nineteen. She came India. Yeah, <coughs> and we got married twelfth of May. Yeah. After one month, we got married here. So this is our fourth, fourth meeting. meeting already. So basically, we waited five years to meet each other for the first time, mm -hmm. and we waited eight years to, to get, get married. married. Yeah. Yes, and I just wanna say to LDR couples out there or same like us, interracial LDR couple, I just wanna say that uh, never lose hope because for us, we waited eight years for us to finally have this time together. So if you are struggling right now, because, don't rush. Yeah. Don't rush. Give things proper time because mm. things will go. Like, Things will execute in their proper time only. Mm. So don't rush for anything. We have started our journey when we were students, when we were in college. Mm. We completed our college. Then we got That's a job. True. We worked there also. We got some experience of work. We got experience of life. Mm. Then we finally decided to meet each other. Then after also we have we like we have taken like on and around two years after first meeting then we got married so i will just say that don't rush don't push mm. things too much if it is supposed to happen it will happen yeah. so just give it just give the situation give your relation just give the relationship nourishment the appreciate selected. the process yeah because the process the yeah, of course journey. it will be tiring yeah. sometimes it will be frustrating like if you are struggling right now please also know that we also struggle the same and, uh, as you are yeah and uh, especially when when you don't have job mm. when you are struggling for your career especially because she was already having job she started working just after finishing her college and that time i was still looking for a good opportunity mm. so i was not get, having any job so that time it will maybe sometimes will get, mm, come Mm. That uh, difficult times, difficult times, of course. struggling times. Struggle. You will feel like whatever you are doing is it right or wrong. So it totally depends upon you. That what you want from life, that's it. Yeah. What actually you want. It's not just because somebody is saying that you have to be in relationship, so you have to continue that, or just for the sake of uh, having a relationship. Having a relationship, you have to continue that. You just have to think what exactly, you just have to ask yourself what exactly will you want. Because when it is not true, when it is not pure and pious, you will definitely lose hope. Even You will definitely, one time will come, you will think that whatever you have been coming through is totally, is going in vain. Mm. So definitely you have to think that. Mm. And I also hope that uh, people who's who is not in a long distance relationship would also respect people who's in a long distance relationship right or in an interracial relationship because mostly people who's in a long distance relationship 
were judged because others will be saying that how can you say that you are in love with this person whom if you, you never haven't met. oh yeah whom, whom you, you haven't don't met know. that's basically what people will tell you if they come to know that you're in a long distance relationship because they look different they will talk different mm. they will eat different their culture is different mm. their upbringing is different everything is different the one thing is common that you like each other that there is love mm. the one one and most important but the only single thing will be which will be common between two of you will be love mm. so if it is there if true love anything. is there you can surpass anything everything is uh, possible yeah with god's help yeah of course. of course so i'll just say that if you really want then give it time work for it yeah it's not just like that you are just keep on thinking and mm-hmm. you are not working for it because but i will say that it's very easy to hear that okay i'll go philippines she will come india but before that people like me who have no idea of processing papers processing visa processing tickets how to go foreign country it is hard for those people especially i know when it was first time me it when it was first time i have to go dubai when it was the first time she have to come india then it was second third time when i have to go philippines then again she have to come india so all those times for that day you have to start preparing papers documents even before that all money those money and also money yeah money also financial financial, financial support also so all those process our one detailed video is there you, you will see in our videos like how to process visa for philippines how to process visa for india uh, detail we have detailed discussion of over video. the video yeah that's why we also shared that video share the information that we know because we both know how difficult it is to process for the first time yeah. the and process papers yeah and especially for those people who have no experience mm. or whose family don't have experience common people like me common people like her common we are common people so yeah. so that's why we have processed the video so at least it will help you even little so yeah of course so, so and of course think first if you are looking for a long distance relationship and if you are in college because there are many people who yeah. are messaging us that we are in college we don't have jobs so how to process they yet. don't have enough money so of course we also started from that phase yeah we started with literally nothing, nothing. we are just a poor college students before <laughs> say, poor. Ay, okay we were just a college student we are normal with li- limited students. pocket pocket money yeah. with limited pocket money in that we are struggling students yeah and th- at that time internet was also very costly oh my god and calling over like normal call and, rates and smartphones are not that accessible to everyone yeah. so we don't have smartphones before yeah and uh, <coughs> normal calling rates were also very high tariffs were very high mm. and sometimes call dis- to calls were getting disconnected sometimes mm. now this time it is very easy yeah, internet is internet is everywhere everybody is having smartphone but we survived that phase like sometimes sometimes i remember in philippines some typhoons were coming their mobile networks were not working i was keep on waiting for one day two day what happened i was keep on watching news channels that is everything okay there i was passing messages through her relatives through her friends <coughs> that is everything okay so time for they were like means eight years before technology was not that mm-hmm. enhanced mobile phones were not that common the yeah. smartphones So just that we have surpassed that stage that difficult or struggling stage so you can also surpass if you are struggling right now Mm-mm. so just I have know. proper planning i will just say that whatever you are dreaming whatever you want just plan for that yeah because process <laughs> is not important uh, i'll say process you will come to know if you really want that process you will come to know by any means but what you have to do what i like to say that planning yeah. is more important than process just remember it you can start anything with uh, a proper plan yeah uh, so just plan plan first then, then work accordingly yeah just that. so just that it's also my favorite quote to say now that god did not give us the power to dream without also giving us the power to make them come true So like before we were just dreaming about all this and that and then I know it was God who made a way for us to 
be here right now and talking to you about all this. And I hope we can give you a little inspiration to never lose hope. Uh, whatever you are struggling right now, you will pass that stage and one day you will appreciate everything that you have been through. And you will come out stronger and better as LDR, long distance couple or an individual. Mm -hmm. I think this is it for this video guys. I hope you have come to know us better. And what can you say else? Yeah, just that we would have got basic idea. Maybe we'll come later with detailed video. If you want. If you want. Yeah. But uh, this was the basic information, information about, about us. us. And the question and answer portion guys, what you have asked, we will make uh, another video regarding the question and answer video question and answer yeah. yeah question and answer so if you are interested or you have other questions that we have not included in this video you can comment down below yeah comment down below if there's anything we missed so that we can discuss that on our next video so this is it for this video guys I hope you have enjoyed watching and we'll see you again in our next video. All the best. Bye. All the best. Bye. Before we forgot guys, we have to do a shout out. So we put your names on a bowl. Those who were asking us for a shout out so that we can randomly pick. So our shout out for today is for... This is the shout out is for MCL channel. Hello MCL channel. Hi, thank MC, you for watching. MCL channel. Yeah, hi, thank you. Next is for Michelle Valenzuela. So her mother is Marvi Valenzuela. We wanted Hello. to make a shout out to her. Hi Michelle, thank you for watching. And then next is for Mary Ann Ariate. So thank you for watching, Miss Mary Ann. Next shout out is for Jana Diamadin from Laguna. Laguna. Hello, Miss Jana Diam. Uh, hello, Miss Jana. <laughs> hello. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And next is Fatima. She is from Cigaro Island. <laughs> Shargao Island. Shargao. She is uh, Miss Fatima from Shargao Island. Hello, Hi, Miss Fatima. Fatima. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Next is for Catherine May Gayotin from Negros Occidental, my fellow Ilonga. Hi, Miss Miss Catherine Gayotin. Catherine May Gayotin. And next is, oh, next shout out to Miss Mary Ann Balasabas from Bacolod City also. Hello. Hi, thank you. Sa madamo. Next shout out is for Teresa Zamoros. Zamoras. Teresa Zamoras from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So thank you for watching. Hi, Miss Teresa. Teresa. Thank you. And next shout out is for Lydia yes. San Juan. San Juan. Lid Lydia San Juan. Hello, Lydia. Nice. Lydia. Lydia or Lida. Lida. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And then last, I'm going to uh, do a shout out to Miss Virginia Acedo. Miss Virginia or Miss Virginia Acedo mm -hmm. from. JRS Express, Express Treasury, Treasury Department. Department and also he uh, she is heading the that department and she wanted a shout out to her staffs and staffs are Nuri Asis hello Nuri hi Nuri and then Wang Espiritu hi hello. Miss Wang and then last is Chris Gurano Guarino. Chris Guarino. Chris Guarino. Guarino. Hi po sa inyo, JRS Express staff. Thank, thank you for watching. Thank and you. everyone who's watching this video, thank you so much, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hey, guys. See you. See in you our again. Next, in our next video. Bye. -bye. Bye.